starts now. Happening now, a man accused of holding two women as prisoners is due in court. The latest details as he goes before a judge for the first time. And all new, the Clayton County School District rolling out some new guidelines for the upcoming school year, what parents and students need to know before the first day of class. But first, let's get a live look over the skies of ATL. We do see some blue in there, but we are tracking another round of storms in the midst of those clouds headed our way. Meteorologist Andrew Wilson in for Chesley this midday. Joining us now with a look at your first forecast. Hi, Andrew. Hey, Aisha. Yeah, today we are going to be dealing with a little bit more of the wave shower and thunderstorm activity, but I don't think it's going to be as much rain as what we had yesterday. Right now in Atlanta, no rain out there. 84 degrees. Very humid, though. Makes it feel a lot hotter. Feeling like 92. That dew point way up there in the mid-70s. That's a really soupy air mass. You see those winds coming out of the west there at about 7 miles per hour, so not much of a breeze to help cool you off a little bit. You see most of us sitting in the 80s, with the exception of Covington and over towards Edenton, where temperatures are sitting in the 70s. So why are they a little bit cooler? Well, the answer is a little bit more in the way of shower activity. We see some shower and thunderstorms that are making their way off to the east-southeast here, right along that I-20 corridor east of the Atlanta metro. These are moving away from us. Still a few lingering showers, though, for some spots there along that I-20 corridor. Augusta about to deal with a lot of heavy rain here. And you see southeast portions of Oglethorpe County are under a flash flood warning due to some of that heavy rain that moved through a little bit earlier on. Again, though, that is going to be moving out and we will see uh, some slightly drier conditions today compared to what we had yesterday. Only a 20% chance for rain for today. You see temperatures again right now in the mid 80s for Atlanta. We head throughout today. Those temperatures will rise into the lower 90s. Lots of cloud cover to go around as we head throughout this afternoon. Don't forget to download this 11 Alive app too. It can give you live looks at the radar whenever you're on the go and also give you updates on severe weather, which by the way, for today, not really having much of a chance for severe weather, really just going to be general thunderstorms. But for tomorrow, we are going to have a slight chance for a few isolated to scattered showers and storms becoming severe. We're going to have an update on what you can expect on the timing of these storms, as well as what the main threats will be coming up. Right now, a man accused of holding two women as prisoners in Clayton County is expected to go before a judge any minute now. 44 year old Kevin Barge turned himself into police last night. He's accused of keeping two women as prisoners at a home on Riverdale Road in College Park. One of them who was tied up and shot multiple times. She later died. The other woman managed to escape. His court appearance is virtual. We are listening in and we'll update you with that and what comes out of it. All new this midday, the Clayton County School District outlining some new goals for the upcoming school year. 11 Alive's Karis Belger listening to that virtual meeting. She is joining us in the studio. Karis, what should parents know ahead of the new school year? So I just finished listening to the meeting right before we came on air. Safety was a big topic. Dr. Beasley said the district is hiring more school resource officers and purchasing body scanners for every middle and high school. They're also implementing a team of officers for the elementary schools in the district. This is all in addition to the district's clear backpack policy. Uh, we are in the process of uh, hiring additional SROs uh, for our secondary schools and campus supervisors who will help us man the new body scanners that we will have at all secondary schools. The largest school district will also start the new year with some safety protocols in place. Gwinnett County Public Schools, they're going to require masks for all staff. For students, they're encouraged but not required. A virtual learning option is also on the table for the upcoming school year. For K through 12 students, it is the first year that option is available for students K through 3. Schools and buses will be cleaned frequently, and anyone who feels sick, you're encouraged to stay home. We spoke to the chief of schools who tells us the district is using last year as kind of like a road map to help them navigate through this year. Obviously. This time of year is always a very exciting time of year, We're ready to, to, to kick off a new school year. Um, I think what we will strategize around is really trying to leverage the lessons that we've learned um, over these past couple of years. You know, at this time last year, we saw one of the worst spikes that we've seen with the Delta the variant that was raging. And there were a lot of lessons that I think we've, we've gathered and we put into place, you know, moving forward for this year. Dr. Taylor says the school district will also work with the county's health response team to conduct contact tracing in the event there is an outbreak among students or staff. Developing now in DeKalb County, we're working to learn more about two shootings, one of them deadly. It happened off Meadowwood Drive around 1045 last night. Officers say they got a call about a person shot and found a man dead. He was in his 20s. Police believe there was some kind of small gathering in the parking lot when a fight or argument started and that sparked the shooting. 
shooting. Police say there was also another man in his 20 with gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition, but then later on in the night around 11, police say they got another call about a person shot off Wall Drop Hills Drive. When officers got there, they found a 14 and 15 year old, one with a gunshot wound to his hand, the other one in his leg. Police say at this point they believe the teens found a gun and accidentally shot it. Both were taken to the hospital. And new at this hour, we are learning some new details about a shooting we first told you about Monday at the Forest Cove Apartments in Southeast Atlanta. Five people were shot, including a 13 year old. Another story involving violence with our kids. We're told one of the victims is in critical condition. The other four were learning they're all stable. Police say they are investigating and searching for suspects. They say they do believe the shooting was gang related. All news today, a look at the face of a young man credited with saving so many lives. Elijah Dickin is 22 years old. He was at the Greenwood Park Mall right outside Indianapolis Sunday night in the food court area with a friend when a gunman opened fire, killing three people and hurting two others. But Dickon was legally carrying a gun and shot back. Police say Dickon fired 10 rounds, hitting the gunman who tried to run away, but then collapsed and died from his injuries. We're told he had no police training, no military background. The police department says he responded within 15 seconds. We're told he was carrying under Indiana's constitutional carry law. It is the same law just enacted in Georgia earlier this year, which allows gun owners to carry without a license. New developments in the investigation into a DeKalb County daycare. Police say three employees are now facing charges related to child abuse. The claims focus on Apple Tree Learning Center and Academy on East Ponce de Leon. Two women face charges of first degree cruelty. The third was arrested for failing to report child abuse. Police say there could still be some other victims. So if you think your child was harmed, you should call the DeKalb County Police. A health alert for people in DeKalb County. Off officials are telling us that West Nile virus has been found in the area. So far, no human cases have been confirmed. The virus was detected in mosquito traps. To protect yourself, you got to throw away that standing water, like in flower pots and pet bowls, and cover up any shallow pools. There is a new vaccine option coming in the fight against COVID-19. In a unanimous vote, a CDC panel just endorsed Novavax. It's a two-dose protein-based vaccine for adults 18 and up. Novavax makes the fourth shot available here in the U.S. A bill to protect same sex marriage nationwide is headed to the Senate, protected by federal law. Democrats pushed the legislation in response to hints from the Supreme Court about sending same sex marriage issues back to the states. 47 Republicans supported the bill, none from Georgia. Still to come, two violent carjackings in just eight days. Now we want to know if they're on the rise in Atlanta. Our verified team goes to work next. Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damage and winds, hail. And How you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening uh, 11, now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And where Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of time. Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News. Is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m. is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. 
a mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the stronger storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and... How you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you'll be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be... The crimes and especially the videos left communities horrified. Two violent carjackings in Atlanta within eight days, leaving a father dead and a mother of three in the hospital. On top of that, Atlanta police say they've investigated mass car break ins in several neighborhoods and apartment complexes. So let's verify. Are these types of crimes increasing across the city? Our Hope Ford has the answer. A father killed as someone tried to steal his car. A mother run over by her own car as thieves got away. Apartments in Atlanta with multiple cars broken into in different neighborhoods. Are car break-ins and car jackings increasing in Atlanta? According to data from the police department, theft from motor vehicles are up 16% this year. But motor vehicle theft is down 10%, meaning more people are having their cars broken into than having the actual car stolen. In the case of Suzanne Hill, a tracking device on her car allowed police to find and arrest the suspects who put her in the hospital. Hospital. Millions of cars already have location tracking. Check with your car dealer or manufacturer to see if your car has this feature. If it does, your car's location can be tracked and updated with the car's manufacturer's smartphone app. There's also plenty of GPS trackers that can be added to your car in various ways. And a factory setting on your car can be changed to keep people out while you're in it. Many cars allow all four doors to unlock at the same time. Check your owner's manual to see if and how you can change these settings. From there, you can change the settings so just your driver's side door unlocks, keeping someone from sneaking in through the passenger side. You can also change your settings so all four doors will remain locked even once you put the car in park. If you see something you want us to verify, all you have to do is send us an email. Happening today, a Georgia gun maker will be at the center of a hearing on guns and mass shootings. Daniel Defense made the gun used during the Uvalde, Texas deadly school shooting. 19 kids and two teachers were killed. CEO Marty Daniel will testify before a House committee. His company headquarters is located right outside of Savannah. Lawmakers will also hear from two other gun manufacturers. And all new Metro Atlanta leaders are coming together to come up with a plan to fight gun violence and address the affordable housing crisis across the state. The leaders from the 12 Metro Atlanta counties are proposing two resolutions. One is the DeKalb County housing resolution that would create a rental registry that would allow people to study the housing market and landlords. A gun control resolution calls for the CDC to enact more funding and make gun violence a public health crisis. Also today, President Biden will be in Massachusetts to talk about his climate plan. He is expected to announce funding that will protect communities facing extreme heat and support low income families facing high energy bills. It comes as part of the country experiences a blistering heat wave with fires popping up near Fort Worth, Texas. The Lone Star State in Oklahoma just set some new record highs for temperatures yesterday. Right now, fires are also sweeping across London as the city deals with the hottest temperatures on record. The city is gripping a country that is just not used to seeing these temps. It was 103 degrees yesterday. Now the typical July day in the United Kingdom hits about 75 degrees, and that's because you got to consider that means most people don't even have air conditioning, Andrew, in the UK. Ooh, could you imagine it being that hot, not having air conditioning? No. Goodness, I would not <laughs> want that. No way. You know, you're going to be cranking up the air out there today because temperatures are going to be rising up into the upper 80s to lower 90s. Right now at the airport, no rain out there. We did have a little bit of rain out at the airport just yesterday. No delays, of course, just dealing with that heat out there. Looking out towards Tourist Park, we do have a little bit of cloud cover out there, but everything looking dry as we look off towards that Circle 75 Office Park region. Same thing with noon and not really seeing much in the way of rain, but we do have a lot of cloud cover downtown. We saw a good amount of shower and thunderstorm activity yesterday. 
Nice to have a brief period of some drier conditions, but we're going to have some more chances for rain over the next few days. Right now, a lot of the shower and thunderstorm activity is east of Atlanta. It's along that I-20 corridor, really closer on over towards Augusta. You saw the shower and thunderstorm activity move from that I-85 corridor down through Athens. Now they are going to continue to shift on down to the southeast and impact more of middle Georgia. We saw a good amount of rain over the last 24 hours. Now further off to the east along that I-20 corridor, you'll see some spots got about two inches. Athens, who really need some rainfall, only got about a half of an inch right now in Atlanta just over the last 24 hours. Much of the rain that we had occurred last night over a half of an inch and then you see further off towards the north there getting uh, closer on towards Rome really off even to the northeast of there closer on to Gilmer County southwest Gilmer County closer on to two inches of rain. So some saw a lot of rain over the last 24 hours. Others not so much. Remember we're going to have more chances here to help you uh, kind of fill up those rain gauges and water the yard uh, the natural natural way over the next few days. Not going to be as much in the way of shower and thunderstorm activity today, but you notice a few showers there getting closer on over to Chattanooga. Those will be dipping down to the southeast and we'll be seeing a little bit of rain this afternoon. General thunderstorms for us. We're not talking about a severe risk for today like what we had yesterday afternoon and into the evening where we had that marginal risk. But for tomorrow, things change a little bit. We're talking a marginal to slight risk for severe weather. The better risk for severe weather is going to be mainly for areas from Macon all the way up into Augusta. And then you see getting up towards Rome. That's pretty much the cutoff for where we'll see just an isolated storm or two again there into far northwest Georgia. So going to be the main risk there with damaging wind, and that's going to be mainly as we head into the latter part of the morning on Thursday and into the afternoon. But before we get there, what can we expect for today? Just a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity here and there. Much of us are going to make it through today without a drop of rain, but don't be surprised if you do get one of those heavy downpours that we typically get in the summertime. Again, very hot, very humid. Temperatures rising into the 90s this afternoon. Going to feel even hotter, though, with how soupy of an air mass we have. Moving into tonight and into early tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. on Thursday, temperatures sitting in the 70s, lots of cloud cover. We move into the latter part of the morning and into the early part of the afternoon. We start to see some of these thunderstorms. Remember, some of these could be strong and that's going to continue as we head into the afternoon. Notice by 730 Covington, Atlanta, Marietta, Carrollton, all these thunderstorms could be bringing the possibility of damaging wind and a lot of very heavy downpours, much like what we've been having the last few days. As the sun goes down on Thursday, we'll get quieter conditions and temperatures will drop down into the 70s and 60s by the time you wake up on Friday and Friday going to be a little bit drier. Only a 30% chance for rain there. 20% chances for rain as we head throughout the weekend. So a lot of rain chances over the next five days. That's good for places like Athens where they're behind on rainfall more than four inches behind even on rainfall. But meanwhile, Atlanta, we're not really not needing the rain as much more than an inch ahead for the year, but a little bit of rain here and there will help us continue to stay ahead. The seven day forecast shows that we will have a drop in rain chances Saturday and Sunday and the temperatures staying hot in the mid 90s. Still to come, they went full mama bear mode. See how a group of women in Georgia sprang into action to help a child out of a crash car next. When you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Alive News app to use Near Me. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now... Where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and... How you can plan ahead. 
by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you'll be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And we're Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays, 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now. Where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. Once we found out there was a baby in the car, that's the only thing that our mind was on. I wouldn't pull Mama Bear. Just when a child was in danger, a group of women in Central Georgia say their response, it was automatic. They jumped in to help after a mother was arrested for reckless driving. Today, Ryan Monado shares their story and gives us a first look at the dash cam video from that day. Dash cam video shows the terrifying moments that hit the streets of Byron Friday. Break glass, break glass, break glass. Get out the car. The woman behind the wheel, clearly with no concern for those around her. Tiffany and Brent Cox had to swerve off the road to avoid being hit head on. It was crazy. I literally was like, Brent, Brent. On top of her lack of concern for people outside the vehicle, Tiffany and Brent says there was a child inside the car. That's when the, I saw little legs in the back seat kicking. As police chased 24-year-old Sierra Hibbert, Tiffany and Brent, thinking of their own three kids, followed, determined to stop this vehicle under any circumstance. Like I said, once we found out there was a baby in the car, that's the only thing that our mind was on. We just tried to kill 10 people. No, I... Once police had Hibbert handled, Tiffany says the mom and her came out. I want to pull mama bear. Just... A wave of emotion hit Tiffany and the bystanders as she pulled the child out of the car. As soon as we pulled the baby out, these women just showered her with love. I, I mean, she picked her up. She started crying. She's holding the baby. A moment neither hope to ever relive. And we are so thankful that child was not hurt and no one else was seriously injured. And so it grows the massive Mega Millions jackpot still up for grabs. No one matched all six numbers last night. So now the estimated prize for the next drawing is $630 million. The cash option, that's going to be about $360 million. Not too bad because the ticket is only $2. So I would say that is an excellent return on your investment. The next drawing is Friday night. Good luck. If you do hit the lottery, where are you going to go shopping first? Maybe to Phipps Plaza. You might want to consider getting a suit by Atlanta celebrity designer Miguel Wilson. He has a store inside Phipps. Mike Wright, he wears those suits pretty nice. He's a Vanderbilt quarterback and former Woodward Academy star. He just wore one of Wilson's suits to SEC Media Days in downtown Atlanta. And for him, he says there is a real special connection. He's one of my fraternity brothers, so I'm like, look, I'm going to SEC Media Day. Let me just get something. Give me something that's going to... He always surprises me, and so... I got my red carnation representing that because my favorite color is red. But I can't wear too much red out here now, so I will wear a suit to Waffle House if I have to. I mean, this is just <laughs> who I am. I think it's in me and won't leave either. No matter what you got on, Waffle House is always a good idea, right? Well, today is UGA's time to shine. The players will be front and center at SEC Media Days. The 11 Alive Sports crew is going to have more from the Bulldogs tonight on the news at 5. To Los Angeles now, where the ninth year in a row, the American League won the All-Star Game. They beat the National League 3-2 to two last night. Plenty of Braves were represented at the game. Ronald Acuna Jr. leading off for the National League. He doubled and scored a run in the first.
still to come. It is a trend we like to see. Gas prices are falling for the fifth week in a row. We're going to check in with the experts on how long those drops are expected to last. A traffic alert just into our newsroom. Cobb County police investigating a crash. We're going to have that more coming up for you next. 11 Alive Morning News is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Alive News app to use Near Me. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the stronger storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail. And how you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you'll be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And where Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of time. Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News. Is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m. is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. After months of dreadful record highs, gas prices are down for a fifth straight week. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon is 447. That is down 16 cents from a week ago. But let's take a look back. We are still paying $1.31 more per gallon than a year ago when gas was right above $3. Georgia's average per gallon is down to the average here at home is $4. It is just about a dollar more than we were paying at the pumps a year ago. Gas for under $4 a gallon is becoming a common site with nearly one in five gas stations nationwide charging under the $4 mark. It is obviously some welcome relief. So what is driving this downward trend? Well, it is a classic case of supply and demand. Production has increased while inflation and economic uncertainty is leading a lot of people to fuel up less. I think we all are dependent on our transportation and those gas prices are really going to play a big part in getting around. I think my gas light is on as I'm reading this story. I just thought about it for families planning that last minute summer road trip. This is awesome. Welcome news, but we are not in the clear. Analysts say if there is an energy disruption like a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico, prices could go right back up. 11 Alive is where Atlanta speaks. 11 Alive News at noon starts now.
Happening now, a man accused of holding two women as prisoners is due in court. The latest details as he goes before a judge for the first time. And all new, the Clayton County School District rolling out some new guidelines for the upcoming school year. What parents and students need to know before the first day is getting close. But first, let's get a live look at the skies over the A. We see a little bit of, you know, a little bit of blue peeking out right there. We are tracking another round of storms headed our way. Meteorologist Andrew Wilson joining us now to take a look at your forecast. There are the clouds and the skyline. Andrew, we yeah. just needed you in the shot. That's yeah, all. yeah, exactly. You know, just a few clouds out there, Aisha. Nothing too menacing like what we had yesterday. Remember, we had all those showers and storms just yesterday. Well, today, not as much in the way of rain, but of course, when you don't have the rain, you get the heat this time of year. 86 degrees, 95, though, is what it feels like. Those dew points in the mid 70s. When I tell you dew points are in the mid 70s, that means that it is soupy out there. It's air that you can wear with how humid it is. Those winds out of the west at about nine miles per hour. Keep it not really going to help cool you off at all. Uh, just going to be kind of hot and humid out there. If you're going to be working this afternoon, drink plenty of water, take plenty of breaks. Notice the majority of us sitting in those low to mid 80s, but there are a few spots a little bit cooler. Even since I had 77, we got 79 over towards Covington. So why are they a little bit cooler? Well, the answer is they've gotten a little bit more in the way of rainfall as we've made our way throughout this morning, helping those temperatures stay a little bit lower. Athens got a little bit of rain too, and you know Athens is really hurting for rain, so it's good to see that they're getting some uh, shower and thunderstorm activity here and there. A little bit further to the southeast, though, they got a little bit too much rain. Notice uh, southeast portions of Oglethorpe County sitting in a flash flood warning until 2:15 p.m. Much of that shower activity still pushing off towards the south. East, impacting the I-20 corridor. If you're headed over to our Augusta today, don't be surprised by some of those damp roadways and take it easy out there. Not as much in the way of rain here in Atlanta, though, for today. Just about a 20% chance for rain. Notice as we head throughout the afternoon, temperatures rising into the lower 90s. Going to be a bit of cloud cover out there. No chance for severe weather, though, today. We are going to have a chance for some severe weather tomorrow, though. You want to make sure you have that 11 Alive app to receive those alerts. We'll break down when you can expect those storms coming up. A traffic alert just into our newsroom. Cobb County Police investigating a crash at South Cobb Drive and Fairground. This is video from 11 Alive Sky Tracker. Right now, police are not giving us a lot of information about the crash, but they are urging drivers to avoid the area. You see that is an intense situation right there, and that road is shut down. So steer clear of South Cobb Drive and Fairground. Right now, a man accused of holding two women as prisoners in Clayton County is expected to go before a judge any minute now. 44 year old Kevin Barge turned himself into police last night. He's accused of keeping two women as prisoners at a home on Riverdale Road in College Park. One of them who was tied up and shot multiple times later died. The other woman was able to escape. His court appearance is virtual. We are listening in and we're going to update you on what comes out of that. All new this noon, the Clayton County School District is outlining some new goals for the upcoming school year. 11 Alive's Karis Belger listened in to that virtual meeting. She's joining me now in studio. Karis, what should parents know? First day of school is coming fast. Yeah, and I just finished listening to that meeting right before we went on air. Safety was a big topic. Dr. Beasley, the superintendent, said the district is hiring more school resource officers and purchasing body scanners for every middle and high school. They're also implementing a team of officers for elementary schools. This is all in addition to the district's clear backpack policy. Uh, we are in the process of uh, hiring additional SROs uh, for our secondary schools and campus supervisors who will help us man the new body scanners that we will have at all secondary schools. Safety was not the only thing that came up during that meeting tonight at five. I'll share the district's plan for their academic goals for the school year and also how they're planning to keep children healthy amid rising COVID cases. As COVID cases climb, the state's largest school district will start the new year with some new safety protocols. Gwinnett County Public Schools will require masks for all staff. For students, they're just encouraged. A virtual learning option is also available for the upcoming school year for K through 12 students. It's the first year that option is available for K through three. Schools and buses will be cleaned frequently, and anyone who feels sick is encouraged to stay home. We talked to the chief of schools who tells us the district is using last year as a roadmap to help them navigate through this year. Obviously, this time of year is always a very exciting time of year, ready to, to, to kick off a new school year. Um, I think what we will strategize around is really trying to leverage the lessons that we've learned. Um, over these past couple of years, you know, at this time last year, we saw one of the worst spikes that we've seen with the Delta the variant that was raging. 
And there were a lot of lessons that I think we've, we've gathered and we put into place, you know, moving forward for this year. Dr. Taylor says the school district will also work with the county's health response team to conduct contact tracing in the event there is an outbreak among students or staff. Developing now in DeKalb County, we're working to learn more about two shootings. One of them turned deadly. It happened off Meadowwood Drive last night around 1045. Officers say they got a call about a person shot and found a man in his 20s dead. Police believe there was some kind of small gathering in the parking lot when a fight started, which sparked the shooting. Police say there was also another man in his 20s with gunshot wounds. He was taken to the hospital in critical condition. And then just about 15 minutes later, around 11, police say they got a call about a person shot off Waldrop Hills Drive. When officers got to that scene, they found a 14 and 15 year old shot one in the hand, the other in the leg. Police say at this point they believe the teens found a gun and accidentally shot it. Both were taken to the hospital. And new at this hour, we're learning some new details about a shooting we first told you about Monday at the Forest Cove Apartments in Southeast Atlanta. Five people were shot, including a 13 year old. We're told one of the victims is in critical condition. The other four are stable. Police say they are investigating and searching for suspects. They say they think the shooting was gang related. All new today, a look at the face of a young man credited with saving many lives. Elijah Dickin is 22 years old. He was at the Greenwood Park Mall Sunday night in the food court with a friend when a gunman opened fire, killing three people and hurting two others. This happened right outside of Indianapolis, Indiana. But Dickon was legally carrying a gun and he shot back within 15 seconds. He fired 10 rounds, hitting the gunman who tried to run away, but then collapsed and died from his injuries. We're told Dickon had no police training, no military background. He was carrying that weapon under Indiana's constitutional carry law. Now that is the same law just enacted in Georgia earlier this year, which allows gun owners to carry without a license. New developments in the investigation in DeKalb County at a daycare. Police say three employees are now facing charges related to child abuse. The claims focus on Apple Tree Learning Center and Academy on East Ponce de Leon. Two women are facing charges of first degree cruelty. The third was arrested for failing to report child abuse. Police say there may still be other victims out there. So if you think your child who attended there was harmed, you should call DeKalb County Police. I health alert for people in DeKalb County officials tell us West Nile virus has been found in the area so far. No human cases have been confirmed. The virus was detected in mosquito traps to protect yourself. Throw out that standing water in flower pots and pet bowls and cover up shallow pools. There is a new vaccine option coming in the fight against COVID-19. In a unanimous vote, a CDC panel just endorsed Novavax. It is a two-dose protein-based vaccine for adults 18 and older. Novavax makes the fourth shot available in the U.S. A bill to protect same-sex marriage nationwide is headed now to the Senate. So last night, the House passed the Respect for Marriage Act. It calls for same-sex and interracial marriages to be protected by federal law. Democrats pushed the legislation in response to hints from the Supreme Court about sending same-sex marriage issues back to the states. 47 Republicans supported the bill. Still to come, two violent carjackings in just eight days. Now we want to know if there is a rise of this kind of crime in Atlanta. Our Verify team goes to work next. And stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on. Yeah. And we're Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen county where a neighborhood is now. Where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 
11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and how you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And we're Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of drive. The crimes in the videos left communities horrified. Two violent carjackings in Atlanta within eight days, leaving a father dead and a mother of three in the hospital. On top of that, Atlanta police say they have investigated mass car break-ins in several neighborhoods and apartment complexes. So let's verify. Are these types of crimes increasing across the city? Our Hope Ford has the answer. A father killed as someone tried to steal his car. A mother run over by her own car as thieves got away. Apartments in Atlanta with multiple cars broken into in different neighborhoods. Are car break-ins and car jackings increasing in Atlanta? According to data from the police department, theft from motor vehicles are up 16% this year, but motor vehicle theft is down 10%, meaning more people are having their cars broken into than having the actual car stolen. In the case of Suzanne Hill, a tracking device on her car allowed police to find and arrest the suspects who put her in the hospital. Millions of cars already have location tracking. Check with your car dealer or manufacturer to see if your car has this feature. If it does, your car's location can be tracked and updated with the car's manufacturer's smartphone app. There's also plenty of GPS trackers that can be added to your car in various ways, and a factory setting on your car can be changed to keep people out while you're in it. Many cars allow all four doors to unlock at the same time. Check your owner's manual to see if and how you can change these settings. From there, you can change the settings so just your driver's side door unlocks, keeping someone from sneaking in through the passenger side. You can also change your settings so all four doors will remain locked even once you put the car in park. If you see something you want us to verify, just send us an email. Right now, a Georgia family is holding on to hope that their young son will survive after nearly drowning. They're sharing their story to urge other parents to make sure they know how to do CPR. Family friends told Caitlin Ross that's the only reason two year old Briggs has a fighting chance right now. She shares her story. <laughs> His laugh is like you, you can hear his laugh in a crowd of a thousand people. Briggs Ingram stands out. He's got little blonde hair. He's a little fella. The two and a half year old may be small, but he has a huge group of people pulling for him after he nearly drowned at his family's lake home Sunday. He stabilized. He, he, he got stable. His breathing got better. His brain activity was great. Um, they obviously had him on some some sedative to let his little body heal. Daniel Norton is a firefighter with Briggs' dad, Josh, in Bremen, Georgia. It was Josh who found his son after the boy wandered off while they were packing up to go home. He saw a shirt in the water. He says Josh did CPR on Briggs for 30 minutes while waiting for a medical helicopter to arrive. Josh was able to get a heartbeat, uh, a heartbeat back on Briggs. Norton says the only reason Briggs has a chance now is because of his dad's quick action. He thinks it's vital parents know water safety and CPR for their own kids. A lot of the uh, success stories that are associated with CPR uh, come from immediate defibrillation and immediate CPR started, which was what Josh, uh, which was what Josh provided for him. Now he says only time can tell what will happen next if they'll get to hear Briggs laugh again. As time progresses, a trauma like that can have uh, crazy effects, and and it's typical for uh, a drowned victim to for their brain to swell. It's just how much, how much it swells and when it stops. Right now, a civil investigation is underway at Amazon warehouses all across the country. Federal prosecutors are looking into potential workplace safety hazards and fraudulent efforts to hide worker injuries. OSHA crews perform safety inspections at warehouses in New York, Chicago and Orlando yesterday. The investigation comes nearly a week after Amazon workers at the Doraville warehouse walked out during Amazon's Prime Day event, demanding higher pay and better working conditions.
Happening today, a Georgia gun maker will be at the center of a hearing on guns and mass shootings. Daniel Defense made the gun used during the Uvalde, Texas deadly school shooting. 19 kids and two teachers were killed. CEO Marty Daniel will testify before a House committee. His company headquarters is located right outside of Savannah. Lawmakers will also hear from two other gun manufacturers. And all new Metro Atlanta leaders are coming together to come up with a plan to fight gun violence and address the affordable housing crisis across the state. The leaders from the 12 Metro Atlanta counties are proposing two resolutions. One is the DeKalb County housing resolution. It would create a rental registry that would allow people to study the housing market and landlords. A gun control resolution calls for the CDC to enact more funding and to make gun violence a public health crisis. Also today, President Biden will be in Massachusetts talking about his climate plan. He is expected to announce funding that will protect communities facing extreme heat and support low income families facing those high energy bills. It comes as parts of the country experiencing a crazy hot heat wave with fires popping up near Fort Worth, Texas. The Lone Star State and Oklahoma just set new records for temperatures yesterday. Right now, those fires are also sweeping across London as the city deals with the hottest temperatures ever. The heat is gripping a country that is just not used to these kind of temps. It was 103 degrees yesterday. Now for perspective here in the UK in July, it usually hits about 75 degrees. And for that reason, a lot of those homes don't even have air conditioning, Andrew. Ouch. Mm -mm. Yeah, I couldn't even imagine being in the triple digits without air conditioning. So uh, you're going to be using your air conditioner a lot today here in North Georgia. Thankfully, we a lot of us tend to have it. If you know any neighbors, though, that may not have air conditioning, make sure they have a way to stay cool today because those temperatures rise all the way up into the lower 90s. Right now, it's sitting in the 80s out towards noon and not a bad look towards downtown. And you see a little bit of a breeze out there with the flags blowing on the flagpole. And then we look out towards downtown Atlanta. We had a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity yesterday. Dropped our temps down a little bit at times throughout the day. And for today, we're going to have a little bit of chance for rain. Not as much shower activity, though, expected as what we had just yesterday. Still seeing a little bit of shower and thunderstorm activity from this morning. Further on to the east on I-20 there. Still impacting areas uh, from Madison, even all the way over towards Augusta, where we have a little bit of heavy rainfall here and there. If you're traveling east on I-20 over the next few hours, don't be surprised by some of that rainfall. We've had a good amount of rain over the last really 24 hours. Much of the rain that fell this morning has been further to the east of downtown Atlanta. You see two more than two inches there. Well, east rather there on along I-20 looking at just east of downtown Atlanta and uh, outside the perimeter. Rather, you see that we've had a uh, just about three quarters of an inch of rain up towards Athens. A good amount of rainfall in spots. That's good. They need that up towards Athens with more than an inch of rain. Then you look further off towards the north and west, kind of going up that I-75 corridor. A little bit more than two inches of rain. Much of that rain, though, fell just yesterday. Now we've had a new update coming in from the storm prediction center up in Norman, Oklahoma, saying that now we have a marginal risk for severe weather as we hit throughout this afternoon for much of North Georgia. That does include the Atlanta Metro. Now this means that an isolated storm or two could end up being strong to severe, and then we don't just have that risk for today, but we have it for tomorrow as well. Tomorrow's risk is going to be just a little bit higher, a level two risk for a majority of North Georgia, which means that we may just have a little bit more uh, activity as far as uh, strong to severe storms across our region, and that's going to show up as we make our way throughout our forecast track here over the next 48 hours. First of all, let's talk about this afternoon. Notice just a few isolated showers and storms here and there, not just for us, but for our neighbors in South Carolina. Need uh, down towards Edenton, stretching through Athens, Duluth, maybe a few isolated storms there. Again, the main threat from these storms, if we do anything, get anything severe, would be damaging wind. Heavy downpours, frequent lightning at times going to be possible in these storms, and those who don't see rain will have those temperatures way up into the 90s, making for a hot day. We move into this evening. The rain chances will go down, and by the time you wake up tomorrow, we're talking temperatures in the 70s. Moving into the afternoon tomorrow, you're going to notice the increase in shower and thunderstorm activity. By the time we get to 1.30 p.m., seeing a few storms here and there, but we head throughout the day, you see the activity increasing big time, a lot more in the way of scattered showers and thunderstorms with a better chance chance for some of these storms being strong to severe. The main risk still being damaging wind. Again, though, those heavy downpours could lead to some isolated flooding as well as some frequent lightning could be possible in these storms at times. So be ready for that. That's going to be as we head throughout that evening commute time frame on Thursday and notice by 730 and maybe headed out to some of those uh, kids baseball games or anything like that out to soccer practice, maybe dealing with some rainfall. 
Be on the lookout for that and make sure that you're going indoors whenever you hear thunder outdoors. Temperatures will be starting off in the 70s and 60s for Friday, and as we head into the afternoon, thankfully, rain chances will be lower for Friday, and not just for Friday, but for Saturday and Sunday as well. You know, at least we have the rain chances in there, though, because places like Athens are still well behind on rainfall, while other spots not hurting as much. Atlanta's still ahead for the year on rainfall, and with the additional rainfall that we're expecting over the next seven days, we're likely going to be staying ahead of things and hopefully catching up a little bit for areas like Athens. Some spots could even pick up a half an inch to an inch and a half of rain this next week. Should be a good amount of rain, a majority of that falling over the next 48 hours. Drier conditions, though, for the weekend where you like to see it as those temperatures rise into the 90s for highs. Still to come, they say they went full mama bear mode. See how a group of women in Georgia sprang into action to help a child out of a crashed car next. 11 p.m. where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the strongest storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dive. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice, and finding solutions. Voices for Equality, sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damaging winds, hail, and... How you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News we began with breaking news this morning. is where you know what's happening now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And where Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of drive. Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News is where. Once we found out there was a baby in the car, that's the only thing that our mind was on. I went full mama bear. Just when a child was in danger, a group of women in central Georgia say their response was automatic. They jumped in to help after a mother was arrested for reckless driving today. Ryan Morando shares their story and gives us a first look at the dash cam video from that day. Dash cam video shows the terrifying moments that hit the streets of Byron Friday. Break glass, break glass, break glass. Get out the car! The woman behind the wheel, clearly with no concern for those around her. Tiffany and Brent Cox had to swerve off the road to avoid being hit head on. It was crazy. I literally was like, Brent, Brent. On top of her lack of concern for people outside the vehicle, Tiffany and Brent says there was a child inside the car. That's when I saw little legs in the back seat kicking. As police chased 24-year-old Sierra Hibbert, Tiffany and Brent, thinking of their own three kids, followed, determined to stop this vehicle under any circumstance. Like I said, once we found out there was a baby in the car, that's the only thing that our mind was on. We just tried to kill 10 people. No, I once police had Hibbert handled, Tiffany says the mom and her came out. I went full mama bear. Just a wave of emotion hit Tiffany and the bystanders as she pulled the child out of the car. As soon as we pulled the baby out, these women just showered her with love. I, I mean, she picked her up. She started crying. She's holding the baby. A moment neither hope to ever relive. That woman's touch and motherly instinct is unmatched. The child was not hurt and no one else was seriously injured. Hey, it's growing and growing. The massive Mega Millions jackpot is still up for grabs. No one matched all six numbers last night. So now the estimated prize for the next drawing is $630 million. The cash option is going to be $360 million if you win. Tickets are just $2, so that is an excellent return on your investment. The next drawing is Friday night. And if you do hit the lottery, where are you going to go shopping first? You could consider getting a suit by Atlanta celebrity designer Miguel Wilson. He has a store inside Phipps Plaza. Mike Wright wears those suits well. He is a Vanderbilt quarterback and former Woodward Academy star. He just wore one of Wilson's suits at SEC Media Days in downtown Atlanta. And for him, he says there is a personal connection. 
He's one of my fraternity brothers. So I'm like, look, I'm going to SEC Media Day. Let me just get something. Give me something that's going to – he always surprises me. And so I got my red carnation representing that because my favorite color is red. But I can't wear too much red out here now. So I will wear a suit to Waffle House if I have to. I mean, this is just who I am. I think it's in me and won't leave either. Today, it's UGA's time to shine. The players will be front and center at SEC Media Days. So will the 11 Alive sports crew to bring you more from the Bulldogs tonight on the News at 5. Taking you to L.A. now, where for the ninth year in a row, the American League won the All-Star Game. They beat the National League 3-2 to two last night. Plenty of Braves are represented at the game. Ronald Acuna Jr. leading off for the National League. He doubled and scored a run in the first. Well, she may be small, but she is fierce. Meet the new officer on patrol in Gwinnett County next. And finding solutions. Voices for Equality. Sponsored by Georgia Power and our other partners. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you see weather happening now across Metro Atlanta. These severe storms are now closing in. We could be talking about damage and winds, hail. And how you can plan ahead by knowing what's coming overhead. Heavy storms are rolling in. Expect pop-up thunderstorms and rain all day long. And how you be weather ready wherever you are. We expect at any moment a tornado warning could be issued. The 11 Alive Storm Trackers. It's how you'll be prepared and stay safe. 11 Alive Morning News. We began with breaking news this morning. Is where you know what's happening uh, 11 now. 11 Alive is live on the scene. Where you can confidently plan ahead. This severe weather is intensifying. By knowing what's coming overhead. And where Atlanta's traffic expert. We've seen delays almost 30 minutes worth of time. Helps you get there on time. Every time. 11 Alive Morning News. Is where you start the day prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now. Where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. Where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow. Weather can't run from the 11 Alive Thunder Truck. A mobile weather center with the power and speed to chase down the stronger storms and bring you on the ground conditions. The 11 Alive Thunder Truck, sponsored by Landmark Dodge. Fighting social inequality is on all of us. That's why 11 Alive is committed to sharing diverse perspectives, exposing injustice. There is a new officer on patrol in Gwinnett County. This is Sika, the hound dog. She's the new canine officer at the Gwinnett County Police Department, and she just helped make her first arrest earlier this week. She sniffed out and tracked down a man wanted for a serious hit and run Monday. The driver hurt people and shut down State Route 13, 316 that is, for more than three hours. Sika was able to track him down about a mile and a half away. Officers tell us she's going to be an essential part of their search team and really helping them to find missing people and other duties. Way to go, Sika. Already showing out early on on the job. We thank you for watching 11 Alive News at noon. Stay safe out there and stay weather aware. You can download the 11 Alive app on 11 Alive Plus on Fire TV or Roku to always watch the news. Stay prepared. Watch weekdays 5 to 7 a.m. If you see breaking news or severe weather near you, snap it and share it using Near Me on the 11 Live News app. Want to verify if something's true or false? Record your question and send it. Download the 11 Live News app to use Near Me. 11 Live News at 11 p.m is where you find out what's happening now across Metro Atlanta. We begin tonight with breaking news out of Cobb County where a neighborhood is now. Where you stay a step ahead of severe weather. Our storm risk has now been upgraded to a... And the only place where you can verify fact versus fiction. 11 Alive can verify that claim is false. 11 Alive News at 11 p.m. 
where you end the day ready to take on tomorrow.